Hey, what's up my Uplifting Life partners? This is Ron Simplified Myers. For those of you, this is your first time hearing me speak. First, let me say welcome and thank you for the support. I am the author of the book, The Relationship Success Handbook, Get Rid of Your Problems, Not Your Partner. In today's topic, I wanted to talk about taking people and life for granted. I'm watching uh, how there's this big debate on a basketball player in the NBA, Steph Curry, on whether he should come back. Um, he was injured, for those of you that maybe don't know basketball. Uh, his team is not in the, is not going to make the playoffs. They got the worst record in, in, in basketball. So people are like, well, basically the season's over. So there's no reason for him to come back. Even one commentator said, uh, he wants to see Steph play, but at the same time, he doesn't want Steph to take a, uh, the, the chance of getting hurt. That Steph doesn't owe, the, owe anybody anything, the fans or anybody else. Um, he needs to prepare for, and be here for next year. And to me, I just kind of, you know, I think about the fact that this is another example of how we're so quick to forget we just had the tragedy of Kobe Bryant and you know the people that were on the helicopter with him the other families and everybody cried and everybody uh, was calling family and friends and I shouldn't say everybody because that's a general statement but you guys know what I mean people more and more people were showing uh, love and concern to those that are around them and calling family members, sending texts, you know, going to visit, telling people how much they love them. And as expected, it only took a couple of weeks, and that's what it does. It usually takes about a week or a month after a tragedy for people to go back to their old ways of being, to where they go back to dishonoring, disrespecting, arguing with each other, taking each other for granted. The things that they did before this happened, they just go right back to the same way of being. That's why people always say, and again, this is not a spiritual conversation, but you'll hear people say, well, if there was a real God, why would he allow things like this to happen? I said, think about it, because humans never learn. They never get it. They never understand what it's all about. They take this, this journey for granted as if it's expected to be there. Now, what does this have to do with the conversation? on um, Steph Curry. Well, to tell Steph Curry something that he loves to do, something he's passionate about, um, that's why he came back, because he loves what he does. He's Again, he's passionate about it. Whenever I hear someone say he shouldn't play, I said, that's a person to me who's never found anything that they're passionate about, because he's not doing it for the money. He's not doing it because his team has the chance to make the playoffs. And he does understand that he does owe the fans something. He has a contract for a job, which is to play basketball. His job is to get butts in a seat. That means people attending the event. And I tell people that all the time when I hear that, when, you know, like there's a thing called load management where teams are resting players that aren't injured. Again, saving them for the playoffs or whatever. But the bottom line is I think it's an insult to the fans who pay the money. It's an insult to the sport. And it tells me a lot about the integrity of the organization and the players who don't fight to play. There are players that will tell you, as long as I'm well, I'm playing. One, because they're passionate about, the, uh, what, the, about what they're doing. Two, because they get paid to do it. And um, for those who think that they shouldn't and that they don't owe, yes, you do. You do owe it. Uh, perfect example is last night, Steph Curry did come back. He did play. And they talked about the electricity in the stadium, that the fans were going crazy. The fans were just, it was almost like a playoff atmosphere. And they're not going anywhere. Why? Because Steph Curry was playing. The fans want to see Steph Curry. When they travel to other stadiums, to other you know states and play other teams, 
the fans aren't coming there and worried about how many games have the Warriors won or how many games have the Warriors lost. They're coming to the game because Steph Curry will be playing. People tuned in and watched, and I'm guilty of it. I watched it myself. I know they ain't going nowhere, but Steph was playing. I wanted to see Steph. So to, to so for any moment to think he shouldn't play, that's an insult to him because he loves what he does. That's an insult to the fans who pay to watch the stars play. So whenever I hear load management, yes, I'm totally offended by the idea of load management because I think it's an insult to the people who plan it. And then also you're taking it for granted. You're not guaranteed. Steph's not guaranteed to be, and this is why I brought up the incident at the beginning about with Kobe. Things happen in an instant. And people are worried about, well, what if he gets hurt? He ain't guaranteed even if he doesn't get hurt that he's going to be here next year. And you're going to tell him to miss out on the thing that he's most passionate about in his life well, I shouldn't say the most passionate because hopefully his family and, and, and loved ones are more important. But you guys know what I'm saying from, from a profession perspective. This is something this gentleman loves. He's passionate about doing And you're trying to convince him not to do it because of what he could possibly do next year when he's not even promised to be here on this earth next year. That's the challenge that people are having in their life is they keep planning and the world keeps telling telling you about the big lofty the house the cars all the things that you can't be happy until you get those things which is the same thing they're telling uh some of these players that if you can't win a championship a trophy then you shouldn't play really these guys didn't didn't start playing nba because if that's the case majority of these players shouldn't play because they know when the season starts their team ain't gonna win a championship so should they all just sit out and wait until they finally get some players around them where they know they can contend for a championship i mean if you think about that that just sounds silly quit being concerned about only living for tomorrow and waiting for tomorrow and this is and i'm using the basketball analogy but this is really sent out to all of us and including myself is learning to enjoy the moment. There's a guy who made the comment. He said, every hour, look at your watch and say, wow, I'm still here. <laughs> Think about that. When I first heard that, I'm like, every hour, that's a long time. That's a lot of work, every hour. But what he's saying is so that you learn to truly appreciate the fact that every moment that you get that you're here understand you're fortunate there's someone leaving this earth every single moment not days moment and for you to take that for granted and assume what you're going to be able to do in the future instead of learning to live every moment and that includes athletes that are playing sports you owe it to yourself if that's something you love to do. And if you don't, you shouldn't be doing it. And you should definitely, and you do owe it to the fans because that's why you're getting paid, the money that you're getting paid. Um, so quit listening to the, the naysayers and the people out there who haven't found the thing that they can be passionate about and who are trying to teach you not to be passionate about living every single moment. And unfortunately and, and and i know what's going on a lot of them if they hear this video and a lot of them probably won't but if they understood what i just said and that's that enjoy every moment breathe in and be grateful that you have this moment if they understood that that conversation would disappear so with the people that are into the load management you would start to say wow man, I'm here and live your whole day like that. And you wouldn't be sitting there talking about, is my team in the playoffs? Do we have playoff? Uh, and that's why I like the older athletes. You, you'll hear a player like a Kobe Bryant and a Michael Jordan, uh, any of the great players 
Um, there's only uh, one or two, which are unfortunately current players with that mentality that want to take days off and stuff. But you hear the uh, the older players, they would always tell you, man, I'm out there injured. If I can walk, I'm playing. Why? Because they actually love what they're doing. And they do know, and they'll tell you, and I've heard them say it. I've heard Kobe say it. I've heard LeBron say it. You owe it to the fans. That's who... These people, you know, you got to understand, people, the tickets in the, in, in the sporting events is so high. Most people can't go to a game. And then you got the people that can, and you take your whole family. That may be the only game you go to for the whole year. And for the star to take the day off, it's an insult to the sport. It's an insult to the fan who put every all the money they could to come watch you play and you're sitting on the sideline so i hope my point came across strong because it's meant to be and that's that you got to be passionate about every single moment you have on this earth that you're breathing be excited be passionate and quit planning for the future on what might happen and forget to live in the moment and as you guys know it ain't right it ain't wrong it is my opinion now if you haven't had the opportunity to watch my videos run over to ron's youchannel.com and that's the letter u ron's youchannel.com subscribe to the site comment on the videos like the videos share the videos share uh topics you uh enjoy for me to actually cover because I enjoy giving videos. My goal is to simplify life and relationships. And folks, the more you can get these messages out, you're helping me and helping others, at least I believe from my perspective, simplify their life and relationships. And as you guys know, if you're not having fun, you should be doing something else. This, that, that my favorite comment ending is also very relevant to the subject we just talked about. If you're having fun, why would you want to sit out instead of playing the game? Talk to you guys later. Take care. Bye-bye.